Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to explain how to use the infotainment system on this MG GT. So in order to start first, let me show you the animation that pops up on your screen when you start the car. So once I start the car, you will see this animation that starts here. It's pretty cool, like a guy with the helmet and MG GT and then he's kind of waving around takes about five to ten seconds to load so I'm gonna let him do his bit he's gonna come out anytime yes now and now the screen has been loaded and then you can see all your widgets out here so it's it's an improvement over the previous generation actually because uh, in the previous one you asked to have bright widgets out here but on this one it's more like this guy on the side and then you have these rather subtle widgets on the side you can even customize these widgets by long pressing them and removing them and then you can add something else this is a permanent one that stays in the place so this is like your main screen out here from where you can change the very quick options out here which are your media your music and you can connect to your android auto or the apple carplay but in order to come back to the home the home button is given out here so you have to press that there's an icon button that also you can change from this infotainment screen only and also there is the volume buttons which are given on both the sides if there was a knob it would have been rather nicer but anyways let's continue with the screen so this is a colorful display out here and you can even swipe and see more options on the side which is for your video pictures hvac which is your air conditioning system let me press that and show you so it takes a little while because yes there is a lot of animation and stuff which is going on which is why it takes a little longer to load up then i press the home button and come back again we go back and then you have the 360 so you have the 360 degree camera system on this mggt you can switch to different views from your yes from your side you can see all of that in the 2d and then you even have the 3d one again it's slightly slower but nonetheless you get the 360 degree view as well on this one and you can call in any time then there is this setting in which you can change your bluetooth you can go back you can add device you can do stuff there is also the audio you can change the audio levels out here then there is the display option in which you can change all your display settings out here as well then you go back and you have the time option you can change that then there is the system option in which you will find all your system settings as well and then you can come back or you can press the home button and then you have these main widgets again and i tried clicking this guy but nothing happens apart from the beeping that happens and then there are more options given on the sides and also on top let me first explain you the top bit so when i click on that you can go inside the air conditioning controls and you can control all the settings you get single zone air conditioning system on this mggt and in order to come out you just press this bar at the bottom and then you have the buttons on the sides which are given then the next one is your music but because my device isn't connected so android auto or apple carplay would come in from there and the next option is your radio option so you will find all your settings in here you can change the channels from here you can set the am fm or the dab from here and also you can customize again the audio options for the radio as well from here itself and one more thing to mention is that the screen is slightly angled towards the driver so you can see the dashboard goes in that side and the the screen is facing a little towards the driver so that it's easier to use while you are on the move and then the next option out here again is like your favorite radio station if you want to see it on your screen you can leave it to that as well and as i mentioned you can change all the uh, radio channels from here itself then the next option is your vehicle settings in which you will find your lighting option where you can change your lighting options from here which is your follow me home light so when you lock the car you want the lights to be on or off then find my car in the car when you unlock or lock it would also beep or if you want just lights you can change that from here as well then you go back and 
the next option is your locking so if you want the car to lock itself uh, when you are speeding this is the one then also auto unlock when you stop the car and you switch it off it will auto unlock itself for you then there is the driver assist option where you can change the lane departure warning and also the forward collision warning which has been given out here and the change of sensitivity that you can change from here as well then we go back then that is the driver handling this is where you will find a lot more driver driving related options as well so there is the eco mode it's not directly given as modes but these are the settings that you can change from here so this is your eco mode then the stability control that is on and off then your body stability control you want the sporty setup or the normal and the steering setup if you want urban normal or dynamic so everything you can change from here which is why i said it's not directly given as a driving option but right dri like driver's mode but instead you have to change it from here then the hvac from here again this is more where you can change the air conditioning system settings from here you want the heated rear window that will be automatically done then the blower option if you want high low or you can leave it in normal as well then there are other options where you will find the steering wheel button setting which is for smartphone car if you see out here that button is here so when you press that that's what you can customize for from this setting as well and then you can reset everything from here as well so this is the other options that we saw so this is pretty much you, all your vehicle settings that you will find from here and that's pretty much about it then there is the phone option in which you will if your phone is connected you can you know dial numbers and you can see your call history you can yeah there is no phone connected right now which is why it's showing that so then there is the contacts keypad and also the bluetooth settings that you can go from here but in there is also connectivity options which is your apple carplay and android auto both are the wired connections and in order to switch on the ac on and off also you can use these buttons so you can see on top it has been deactivated and when i press it becomes in white color so you can see when the ac is on or off otherwise even the color of this button also changes from white to orange and then if you want to change the air conditioning settings you can press this button also and you can go from here or you can press on top of this infotainment screen and go from there as well so that is pretty much in terms of the operating of this infotainment screen on this mg gt you can even press the date and you can go into the date settings as well so you want the analog clock or 12 hour 24 hour clock whatever you want you can change it from here you can see now it's showing in pm and you can leave it in auto time zone or you can manually set that as well and you can go back and then you are back into your main screen now so every time if you notice yes i have to press the home button sometimes to get into the main screen but yeah it's 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 a little loaded with a lot of graphics but i like the design of this whole infotainment screen because it's not too complicated and the options are pretty much right in front of your uh, eyes as well and yeah this is all this gimmicky stuff yeah that makes also little fun to you know operate this infotainment screen anyways that is pretty much it for this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share this video so that more people can know how to use the infotainment screen on their mg gt if you want to subscribe to my channel then you can click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye take care and stay safe